Hello everyone, how are you doing? This is MD Tech here for another quick tutorial. In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you guys how to hopefully resolve if the switch user option is no longer available on your Windows 10 or Windows 11 computer. So if you're used to going on the login screen and trying to switch from one user account to another and you're having this issue, in today's tutorial, I'm going to show you guys how to hopefully resolve it without too much of a hassle. And without further ado, let's go ahead and jump straight into it. So first thing we're going to do is open up the search menu and type in regedit, R-E-G-E-D-I-T. Best result, should come back a registry editor. Go ahead and right click on that and select run as administrator. If you receive a user account control prompt, select yes. And before you proceed in the registry, I would suggest you create a backup of it. So if anything were to go wrong, you can easily restore it back. In order to create a backup, it's very simple. All you have to do is select file and then export. By all name, I'd recommend naming it the date in which you're making the backup. Set export range to all, and then save it to a convenient and easily accessible location on your computer. And once you've done that, you're ready to begin. So we're going to start off by double-clicking on the HK Current User folder. Do the same thing now for the Software folder, so double-click on that. Double-click on the Microsoft folder. And then you want to go down to Windows and double-click on that one as well. Should be a Current Version folder in here. Double-click on it. And then locate the Policies folder. Double-click on that one, too. If you're unable to expand Policies and there's no arrow next to it, you're going to have to go ahead and create a new key under the Policies folder. So right-click on Policies, select New, and then select Key. Name this key System, S-Y-S-T-E-M. And once that is created, uh, go ahead and just select it. And then on the right side, click in a blank area. Select New, and then select the word 32-bit value. Name this value Hide Fast User Switching. Exactly you see it on my screen, and I will zoom in here as well. So just make sure you read it and type in exactly how you see it. So again, it's called Hide Fast User Switching. First letter of each word should be capitalized, and then double-click on it. Value data should be zero, so make sure it's a numerical value of zero. Base hexadecimal, and then select OK. And then once that is done, you want to go ahead and minimize or close out of the registry. And then if you're running Windows 10 or 11 professional or higher editions, like education, enterprise, or so forth, you want to go ahead and open up the search menu. Type in lusrmgr.msc, exactly as you see on my screen. This should open up the Microsoft Common Console document. So go ahead and open that up. And now that we're in here, you want to left-click on the Users folder on the left side. So again, select Users. And then on the right side, you want to look at the user account you want to switch to. And then right-click on it. And then you want to select Properties. Select the General tab, which should be the default tab it takes you to regardless. But for some reason, if it doesn't, just select General. And now you want to see where it says Account is Disabled. You want to uncheck that option. So assuming you want to make that account visible, you want to uncheck account is disabled, and then you would select apply and OK, and then restart your computer. This is just a guest account. I'm not going to re-enable it, but if it was in your case, and like it was an actual legitimate user account that has like a username or whatever, you'd want to make sure that it's unchecked, and then select apply and OK. And then you would want to restart your computer at this time. If you're running Windows 10 or 11 Home Edition, you wouldn't be able to go through the group policy editor. You just would have to go restart your computer after the registry editor method. So just keep that in mind. So there you go, guys. Hopefully that was a pretty straightforward process. And as always, thank you for watching. I do hope I was able to help you out. And I do look forward to catching you all in the next tutorial. Goodbye.